This Thanksgiving will mark 400 years since the first between the Pilgrims and the Native Americans. But over that time, historians say the story of what actually happened between the two groups has changed and has been misrepresented. Now, as Maureen Kyle reports, there is a spark of change in schools around the country to teach our kids the true history of Thanksgiving. You were just as Native people and the Native history and Native culture, really small snippets of our history are in textbooks or are in teaching. As an educator, Dr. Star Yellowfish noticed the history of her ancestors was glossed over in the classroom. Just a paragraph about natives in Oklahoma when she says Oklahoma could be an entire state of natives in of itself and not just glossed over, but stereotyped in an archaic way. And I say archaic because it's 2021. I say archaic because you have um, lessons that were being taught to our parents and grandparents still being taught to kindergartners and third graders and was, you know, paper feathers and um, brown paper sacks and let's dress you up like an Indian and a pilgrim when they weren't even really um, Indians or pilgrims, they were the English and the Wampanoag. So she, along with other educators in the Native American Student Services Department, came up with a suggested lesson plan. The pamphlet contains facts like how Tisquantum, a member of the Wampanoag tribe, became fluent in English, became an interpreter, and taught the English to grow corn. And then there's the Treaty of Friendship signed by the Wampanoag chief, giving the English 12,000 acres of land to occupy. And that first meal? Well, there wasn't any turkey. The Wampanoag men contributed five deer. They had a three-day feast and engaged in diplomacy. There were 90 Native men sharing their food with 50 Englishmen. This is a, a lesson that's, you know, across the globe that people think about, and we want them to think about Native American peoples as helping and as, you know, not so much the, the negative story that's been told for centuries, but, you know, really helping out the country and the people that were here. For regions like ours that have deep Native American veins like the Cuyahoga running through them, these women hope that teachers here use our land to teach about our past. At the very least, um, teachers can acknowledge that where we live and where we have our community was originally from this tribe. And did you know that this town or this river or this location was named for this? And the reason they did that, even having those three things would be um, influential, I think, in young people's lives. We were in touch with the Ohio State Board of Education, which told us that local schools and districts have sole authority for adopting curriculum. We reached out to several school districts to ask if they were teaching any of these talking points sketched out by Oklahoma City Schools, but we did not hear back. But if your child's school is like mine, I've seen some efforts to teach about the different tribes. The point Dr. Yellowfish is making is that we can all do better. Maureen Kyle, 3 News.